We're at the shifter right now on the Traverse. Of course, you got your park reverse neutral, driving L. L simply means range. If you want to turn the auto stop off on this one, put on your brake, go down to L, and push this plus button. What's going to happen, it's going to display right there what gear you're in. So when I hit plus, it's going to maximum fifth gear, maximum six gear, seven, eight, and nine. So when it's in this mode, you cannot, uh, the auto stop will not work. So that's a, that's a hike around uh, how to get a row from that. And of course your parking brake is here. Just think of it this way, lifting up is like you're pulling up on the on the bar, pushing down. That'll turn it off. It's an all-wheel drive model, so it does have your transfer case. On 18 and up Traverse, you can turn the all-wheel drive on and off. And that is how you engage the all-wheel drive. And then if you do it again, that goes into what's called your off-road mode. If you're in an off-the-beaten path. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back to 2 because it doesn't really need to be on that. And that is how that works. And if you're wondering what this button is, it's just your Stabila Track and Traction Control button. That's all it does. If you're in a ditch or mud or snow, you need to get out. You'll use this system so your wheels can spin at different speeds. Uh, tap it once. I'll go ahead and show you up on the Driver Information Center. It says TC. That means your track control is off. If you hold the button down, it's going to disable everything uh, for safety features. The bill of track will be turned off as well. You can see a little swervy car right there, guys, if you see right here. There you go. All right. By default on GM models, when you start the vehicle up, it is always by, on turned on by default. And I just pushed the button and turned it back off. Pretty cool.